Actually filming this um, I've already had my baby but I didn't get to give you guys like a proper intro because everything just went by so quickly um, the clips that y'all see um, is actually the same day I went in to get my ECV done which is an external cephalic version where the, ba the um, doctors physically turn your baby to um, head down position if your baby is breech so I was already in the hospital getting that done and it turned into a c-section and so I was unable to like film really because I was just so aggravated and everything was happening so fast so I decided I know I said I was back and forth but I decided to do the ECB um they scheduled it for no November 2nd uh, when I went in I was already two centimeters dilated um, they went ahead and tried to turn the baby and was very unsuccessful. Uh, the baby did not want to turn at all. So I was really aggravated and I really didn't pick up my camera after that too much. Um, my husband did get some clips that I'm going to include in this video. Um, yeah, y'all. And I will include all the clips that I did record because I remember coming back from the OR and really feeling like just aggravated because i knew that you know with the ecb not being successful i was gonna have to have a c-section and i had my first uh daughter a uh, vaginal so i wanted to have this baby vaginal but it didn't work out like that but everything did turn out okay um i ended up getting a c-section when i got back from the procedure and they checked me, I was four centimeters dilated. So that's how I ended up going into labor the same day I had the procedure done. So after she checked me, I was four centimeters. They brought me back to the room to monitor me. Um, I started having real bad back contractions and I started dilating fast. So like right after they uh, checked me and they seen the contractions, it was like, okay get dressed we going to deliver this baby so that's why i didn't really get to do a proper intro so i made this intro for you guys i hope y'all enjoy this video and stay tuned to find out what the gender is if you follow me on social media then you already know what the gender is i made a cute little video um and i posted it on my tiktok y'all follow my tiktok right here and I'm going to post the video for you guys too at the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Love y'all. I got retarded. Yeah, so I came to update y'all. Um, they are monitoring me right now, but uh, I got my ECV done. It was not successful. So we are getting a C-section. I am fucking pissed off. Yeah, I cried. It's just really nothing I could do, like, right? the baby did not want to budge. So, yeah, we're getting a C-section. Um, they monitor me for, like, another hour or so. Let the epidural wear off and stuff. It was very painful. i have to make another video to really go into detail about everything, but, yeah, um, looks like I'm going to be having a C-section because my baby is very stubborn. Possibility that I might do my section today because um, my doctor checked me and um, I'm dilated four centimeters and I've been contracting. I've been having like a lot of contraction in my back, so we just wait and see. I will update you guys and let y'all know. What is 
up, Lee Loves? It's your girl Leah, and I'm back with another video, y'all. So, I hope this vlog don't be all over the place, but I want to come and start this vlog because it may end up turning into my labor and delivery vlog. Um, today I had my ECV, and it was not successful. Um, my baby is still breached, which means that I have to have a C-section. I'm all cried out. I mean, it is what it is at this point. Um, they monitoring me to see like, oh, I'm having contractions in my back. They monitoring me right now to see if I'm possibly gonna have the baby today or whenever. But um, when my doctor checked me like an hour ago, I was four centimeters, so I'm probably most likely gonna have the baby today. Because I still like I'm I'm still having contractions. But yeah, so I wanted to come on here and update y'all. Um whew, yeah, I'm gonna call y'all back, hit y'all back up. Cause mm -mm. So everything went so quickly on Wednesday. I ended up having my baby on Wednesday. Um, and I was not scheduled to have her. I ended up just going into labor after they did my uh, ECV. I'm going to probably insert clips because I did record up until uh, I got aggravated with the, with the ECV. And then I ended up delivering, but... My plan is to make like a separate video explaining to y'all what happened. Because if I put it in this video, it's going to be too much. But yeah, I'm still at the hospital. Um, I ended up having a C-section. Because if y'all follow me on social media, y'all know my baby was breached. And was breached the whole pregnancy. They could not turn her. So um, I ended up having to have a C-section. And we named her Rowan Alani Jenkins. She's so cute. Her daddy keep holding her, but he just don't know 
she gonna be in dog with him. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, so I'ma end this vlog for my labor and delivery uh, vlog. I'ma put in my ECV procedure and what all uh, laid up into delivery. And then I'ma let you guys, uh, I'ma do another video and explain to y'all like what happened, how fast I went into delivery and blah, blah, blah. And Myra is super excited about her sister. She says, sissy, it's so cute. But she came see her yesterday and she wasn't feeling good. So uh, I'm gonna definitely get some videos with them two together. And um, yeah, y'all, so my baby is here. She was six pounds, nine ounces. I thought she was gonna be bigger than that, but that was fine, that was fine. But anyway, y'all, see y'all in the next vlog. Bye. Sheesh. Is it a he? Or is it a she? Mm. I wonder, like, what can it be? They say, what you want? Say, Lou, me. Yeah, I want a boy, but she want a girl. Like, when can we see? Balloon pop it. Smoke bomb light it. Whether it's pink or it's blue.